All right, we are back over here at Merle's house and we are about to do another update on the Trans Am. It has been a couple weeks now, but he has done a freaking boatload to this thing and I get updates every single day on it, but I can't really film it because I'm kind of far away and my plans keep getting pooped on every week. So let's see, what we, what, what'd you do to it now? Cause I'm sure they can really tell if they're following along. Well, first it took it all apart. <laughs> Stripped it clear down to nothing. Took the harness out. There's no nothing in it anymore. Then I went ahead, and this is what I've been working on lately. The old wiper wiper system used to come like clear out here and kind of just follow this whole direction. And you had your wiper motors there and all the BS there, and then your defrost and all that, plus your HVAC system right there. So I went ahead and cut it clear back to the windshield. Midwest chassis actually makes a delete kit for this thing. And it takes it just how I did it basically, and then goes up. But instead of kind of going out like this, it just goes straight up. You're basically getting rid of your glass windshield, which I don't want to do. I don't want to run a Lexan windshield. A lot of classes, streetcar classes require you to have all glass, no Lexan. So gonna keep it all glass. Then I went ahead and did this. Uh, I had a blank in this. I've already deleted the HVAC system, but I want to go ahead and make it nice and clean so this car is going to look show quality whenever I go somewhere. I'd love to have that for Icebox, but maybe in the future. <laughs> I'll have another car that's going to be just trashy, but it'll be fast. <laughs> This one's gonna be nice. This one looks so, it looks so much different now and there's nothing on it. Yep. He means business, he means business. Now I'm about done with all this. I'm not gonna, like, right now I'm not gonna worry about getting it completely finished up, but I'm pretty well done with it. So now I can start moving forward on the next part. I was gonna do the cage, but I'm in between a how beefy of a cage I wanna put in it. Uh, right now it's an 8.5 cert cage i'm thinking about going to a uh, 750 cage seems i'm going to be doing more quarter mile with this car now than uh eighth mile so you're talking about a cage for your body basically funny car cage around your body the next thing that's going to be up is either i'm going to redo these headlight mounts or i'm going to go ahead and put the motor and tranny in it because i'm getting rid of these motor mounts and we're gonna go to a front mount and a mid plate. Whenever you see a lot of the race cars, the, the aluminum sheet that's in front of the motor, that's a front plate. And then the mid plate is behind the motor and that goes in between the transmission and the motor. And those are gonna be solid mounted to the body. And that will that's probably the best type of motor mount you can get so where they're not moving at all. That's probably like the front plate that some have on the front of the Jay-Z that yeah, we can get. Yeah, same exact thing. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I thought about doing that, but I'm not too sure how far I'm going with it. I do have solid mounts. Like mine are just straight chromoly tube that go straight to my engine, That's to my subframe. Basically what those are. And there's no uh, no bushings. Yeah, the old, where are the old mounts at? I got them sitting, oh yeah. Here are the old motor mounts. So that hooked up to the motor. Jeez. And just a well, that's just like a straight, okay. Yeah, it's solid mounted. It was. It still is. <laughs> going to be. Be a little bit more solid. Open up a little bit more room so I can hide more stuff. I'm going to put uh, LED lights up and underneath this. I thought about that. Like if I got some white LED lights, yep. it wouldn't even just, it would just be like, that's cool. I can pop my hood and have a light to see stuff. Yep. And it'd just be cool to have, like it'd be cool to illuminate everything, but then to have something to be like, you can look back there and make sure you, you can, yeah, you can it, see. It, here at night and I'm going to have two of them there. I'm going to have uh, probably some above the transmission, mm -hmm. the rear end as well. And wherever else there's going to be a shadowy area that I need light. So all I'm gonna do is, I'll have, I could come over here and put a switch like right here, just hit the switch, lights the whole area up and I don't need a flashlight. Right now that's the next thing up is just making the headlight mounts. And these, the headlight mounts are gonna be kind of cool because here's the old headlights, which I've already got pretty, pretty gutted for the most part. <laughs> um, but I'm tired of the flip up part of it. So you got all this and that and 
this is, yeah. okay so here's the driver's side and this one's a little wore out so it wobbles and does a bunch of dumb stuff <laughs> which I can't stand but as you can see it just you got all this garbage here and this here and when you open up the hood you see all this and it's just I mean when it's the hood's on it you don't see any of it but when the hood's off of it and you're trying to show off all the pretty stuff and your turbo and whatnot I mean you got this and it just looks like garbage I mean, they can't get your turbo you got to get past that to see your turbo right yeah well well, then I, then now they got to get past both of them to see yeah. both turbos. <laughs> Two turbos. <laughs> Turbo. So now we're going to go ahead and get rid of all this. These are going to be just the covers now. My plan, I don't know if it's going to work yet or not, but I'm going to take these covers. I'm going to make a custom mount for them. I'm going to redo all of this. So, I mean, this will stay, but this, these mounts are going to go. Um, and then I'm going to make new mounts. So... The covers are going to be basically be clip on so it'll be you slide them on and then they clip in and then you just hit a couple buttons they slide off uh the headlights i've got one here this is a four by six your basic cheap headlight and get on amazon or whatever uh they got highs and lows in them so the trans ams have two headlights normally uh those those are modified <laughs> yeah. um, but they're going to be mounted in here solid that's where they're going to be for that's it so when i pull the cover off then the headlight will be there i put the cover on then um yeah the headlight will still turn on oh but... see yeah okay so you'll have a clean look during the day and then at night you can take your covers off throw them inside yes so yeah pretty much that's it's and then it won't be flopping around anymore. And no more flopping around. Don't have to worry about them if they're up or <laughs> yeah. whatever. Normally, the intercooler, the place I get my intercooler from, uh, it's usually about four month wait. Are you doing a water to air again? Yeah, I'm going back to water to air on it. It works. I'm just going to put a real big one on it. <laughs> I had a 1750 on it, uh, 1750 horse one on it uh, last time, which did the job plenty. It, you could drive around. I drove, it was like 85, 90 degrees out one day, and I went and drove it for about a good hour and a half. Oh, I'm going to buy a new intake. I, once I get the motor in, I got to see if the intake's going to fit underneath the windshield, and that's kind of why I'm holding off on finishing all this, is if I have to modify it again. And we each have our problems. I got to see if my intake will fit by my uh, booster. <laughs> going manual brakes <laughs> no way i've done that before i do not like it yeah. if i have to i'll take a hammer to the booster right there where it hits and i'll dent it in oh jeez. yeah i'm going manual brakes on this have you have you been manual brakes no i've had a couple cars older cars that have manual brakes in them. you just got to be a little it's you can't let the car do the work anymore you got to be the guy that eases into the brake <laughs> There's no easing. There's straight use your clutch foot because <laughs> there's a reason you have clutch leg syndrome now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not too worried about it. I got a parachute. You're right. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm probably going to have to end up getting a parachute this year anyways. It's probably going to be a good idea because I'm, I'm a thinking after three passes in, I'm going to be probably in the fives. Yeah. Well, I mean... If you go to like Eddieville, Eddieville's got a nice long shutdown. Yes. But, uh, yep. like I-29, I'm not. this short. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to hit my brakes on that anymore. If you're, uh, if you're trapping like over, I don't know, I would say if you're in the 130 area and trapping an eighth mile, it'd probably be best to have a parachute. Otherwise, I mean, you're on the brakes. <laughs> on them hard. I mean, you can get away with it. You can get away with that parachute, but you got to have some really, really good brakes. I think the next time you come out, it'll I'll be I'll be working on this front end. Hopefully, well, maybe we get some live action then. Maybe I don't know. It's going to be a lot of touch and go. Like sometimes when I'm trying to really think, I'll work on it and I can't figure something out. I'll walk away from it and for like a couple days until something comes into my head to how to do it. I'm not not gonna just throw something together anymore. That's that's kind of how these were made. They were just thrown together, They're not even finished. They're all bent because Rock Solid Motorsports, they make a whole kit for this, 
which that's what this is. And these are all laser cut or plasma cut. And there, there's a lot more material there than there is now. I had to chop them clear down because I needed more room for the intercooler. <laughs> priorities. Yeah, priorities. Gotta get that intercooler in there. Right there. Now I just gotta put turbos there. Then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the exhaust and the turbos. You're gonna run them out right I, at the bumper? I was gonna run them up here. And I'm thinking about running them down. And then I'm back here. Just run them right out the hood. Well, if I run them like out this, this is where I want them mainly. It's coming out where the fender is. Yeah. But if we're doing drag week and stuff like that, and it decides to rain while the car is parked, water's gonna roll right into the turbos. All you gotta do, you just gotta get cups. Cups? Yeah, you just you just get like a, just one of them big cups, uh, like Tupperware or something like that. Just set them right over the top of it. It's worth a shot, I'll give it a shot. I didn't ever think about that, but my, my car is never sitting outside because it has a leak in the sunroof, so I find a reason to always put it somewhere where it can be safe. <laughs> <laughs> I put that carbon fiber sunroof delete in, but I don't think I put uh, some RTV <laughs> all the way in the perfect spot. That's how it's held in, is by RTV. Yeah. <laughs> it is working. Seems to hold pretty good at 150. If it, if it, <laughs> it works, it works. It, it hasn't <laughs> flown off yet. That's some good RTV bright stuff. I've had things fly off before. That's fun. <laughs> Your hood? <laughs> yeah. I said that went up there. <laughs> I think it's like 200 foot in the air or something like that. It went. That's a long ways it's up. Up there. It's amazing how high something gets when it gets some air under it. That was scary too because you just you're you're cruising, ripping down the track. You're doing about 100 plus, and all of a sudden you see the hood shake, and you're like, oh no! And then all of a sudden it <laughs> pops up a little bit, and you're like, oh no! <laughs> and, and then it just it's gone. It was there. And then it made a movement that you weren't too sure about, and then it was just gone. It was just like something beamed it away, and it was gone. Boy, I sure can't wait till uh, this thing is going down the track again, and I can stand behind you and with my camera. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some camera footage of this because I really like. I get people taking videos of it, but it's always like people sitting in the stands or stuff like that. I've never really got a good video of this thing leaving. Well, don't worry. Now there's me. Yeah. Who, it, it, who actually makes videos. <laughs> yeah. So now we'll get some real good videos. Cause yeah. I, I, all the cool videos, uh, like all the cool times when I did just huge wheelies and stuff, I got pictures of them, but I don't have videos of them. And they would have been really cool if somebody had a video of that thing just going clear sky high and back bumper hitting the ground. They all have video footage and everything, so you can take a look and see what you got to do. Yes, video of the car launching and everything, it, it helps a ton. Because then you can see what the car's doing for suspension-wise. Well, I mean, hey, I wouldn't ever have thought about putting them stock suspension back on the front without your help, so. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Because you, when you're in the car, you have an idea what's going on, but you really don't. Kind of, You can't see the suspension work because you're in the car. But somebody outside of the car watches it i mean they can just say hey you're this is not working right or whatever i i mean i'm not a big suspension guy yeah so, i mean i just know the basics of it if but, you guys want to see the full in-depth thing i will link his channel in the description mm -hmm. and i'll link his facebook page and you guys can actually go watch it from the full in-depth video it's like everything that he's actually doing mm -hmm. you probably see some some videos like i think i got pictures and videos of it working at what what it used to be on my facebook page yeah, so you I, guys can see what this was like in the past yeah i think the first turbo setup i had on it like s480 and whatnot uh yeah the s480 setup was i i got some videos uh on there on my youtube channel of when it was s480 and, and foot brake and nothing special just 700 horse turbo car <laughs> I don't think I have any videos of it when it was full tilt, 12, 1300 horse. <laughs> I'm only over here struggling to make four digits, but maybe I'll reach it eventually. Oh, I'm sure I need to get myself there. a block and some rods and some pistons. You probably <laughs> so, want to bring buy a couple of those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
we'll see what the stock bottom end will do again. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Well, I guess, well, guess we are. I appreciate you guys coming and uh, checking out the update, update number two on the Trans Am. And yeah, until next time, you guys can go check out his channel and the Facebook page and see more in-depth content on the car. But yeah, that'll be it for this video and I will catch you guys in the next one, later.